Battle of the Gymshark Leggings rematch. So we got a real hot one, juicy video coming your way because we are now re-ranking our Gymshark Leggings. Top 10, baby. You guys have been asking for this freaking video for the longest time. But since almost a good year has passed since my previous video, I thought that was pretty much a good length of time since Gymshark has come out with a substantial amount of new leggings in between. It ain't the same ranking as the last video. You best believe it, girl. Some of my new found favorites came from this past year. So uh, let the re-ranking begin, baby. Oh. <laughs> But before we get into this rematch, definitely be sure to be subscribed and follow your girl on IG for all things fitness. Because together we got this. Let's get ready to rumble, baby. So guys, as usual with all of my Gymshark videos, I have my measurements linked down below. Everything you see in today's video will be linked down below as well for your convenience. I'm a size small in everything Gymshark, so that's just there for you to reference in case you need it. And everything you see is true to size. I just want to say guys, this was insanely difficult for me to do because I love all my Gymshark leggings and they all have a place in my freaking heart. Asking me to rank my Gymshark leggings is equivalent to asking a mother to pick her favorite child. That's not right. But we all got a favorite, don't we? So guys, this is gonna be a little itty bit different than last year's video. Instead of ranking by individual collection, I'm going to be ranking by individual legging. For last year's video, I was ranking the leggings by collection, but Gymshark, they change it around a lot, so some collections just aren't there like next month. So I kind of want things to be relevant when you watch it. So this way, I think it'll be easier by just talking about my top 10 leggings, individual leggings. Be more specific. Okay, so um, what's gonna be number 10? We're going backwards, baby. <laughs> number 10 for me, girl, and mind you, this is only my personal opinion, so take it for what it's worth. By all means, your opinion might be totally different. This is just my preference. Number 10, we are rolling in with the mid-rise flex. Okay, okay, okay. The mid-rise flex and I, we kind of got to know each other a little bit over the summertime when they came out with all these beautiful freaking colors. The band gets me. That, mm, that band. Sometimes, you girl, she wants that freaking thick band hugging her waist. Now, I like the low rise as well, but the mid rise is what I'm comfortable with because when I'm squatting down, it still covers me enough. This is still enough coverage for me without it being high-waisted. For me, the flex is something I kind of got to be in the mood for because you have more of that blocky contour. So it's not my everyday legging, which is why it came in at number 10. This one in particular is their light green and smoky gray marl, and I just think the color is so flattering. I love the way this fits because it's just a nice like lighter moderate type of compression it's not highly compressive and it still like really complements the body the legs really well so like i said i gotta be in the mood for that bulky contour some days i'm just in the mood for that heavy 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 plus i really enjoy wearing these when i train abs especially doing side bends i want to see what i'm working with a little bit okay sometimes high-waisted leggings cover a little too much this shows a little more of the abdominal region so I can see what I'm freaking working with that day, girl. I know you feel me. All right, guys, so coming in at number nine, we got, mm, did you guess the high-waisted flex? Did you? So this is that red marl claret color. And I honestly wear these more than say the mid-rise or the low-rise. Even though I love those freaking bands, those elastic bands, I do prefer a high rise legging. I'm that, I'm that chick at the gym. <laughs> so you'll always usually find me preferring the high rise leggings, high waisted. So this does it for me. Again, same type of moderate type of compression. It still has the same bulky like block contour. So again, like this is why it is more lower on the totem pole, I guess you could say. This kind of makes me feel a little bit more secure. Like, so this is more of my grab and go because of the high waist. What I personally love about these, the Flex in general, the high-waisted Flex has the Gymshark logo just smack dab in your face, right on your back. When you're going to squat, all right, this is what people will see. Take their eyes off the bum, okay? You shouldn't be looking at my freaking bum. Instead, you're gonna see this, girl. It's like a big stamp. 
know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> so even though it's like got that bulk contour, it still blends in with the leggings. So it's not like an abrupt, obnoxious contour. So it's still a part of the legging, but it's still much more dramatic than a lot of their other subtly like contoured leggings. And since I live in a more kind of chillier area up in the Northeast America, I actually love the flex because it traps in heat a little bit. It's got kind of got that like a little bit of warmer vibe. So keep that in mind. Like if I were to wear this in the dead of summer, I would die. We are feeling great with legging number eight. Training seven eighths. It is their buttery, soft, like yogi based legging and seven eighths speaks to me because I'm five foot three. That's enough rhyming for today, Ash, enough. So we got like this nice light gray and girl, I don't know if you know this, but light gray makes the booty look real. Mm. Scrumptious. <laughs> Choking on my own spit. So we still do have like a nice high waist that I prefer, but again, you have like the second skin feel. I love it. I do not wear these to the gym. I just don't. They're not totally my jam at the gym. These I do, however, wear every other part of the day. <laughs> this is why they made it to my top 10. I wear them every single day. Out, I go out to the store. I'm lounging at home. Family comes over. I throw a big baggy hoodie over these. These are my existence outside the gym. I also really love that these are unique in their own sense because they are one tone, okay? There's no contours, there's no crazy this or that. So you could wear like statement hoodies or things like that that like are eye-catching with a staple pair of solid color leggings. So these are very usable in that way. Every gal needs just a stable piece of like a yoga based legging. You just do. You don't need crazy stuff every day. You just need simple sometimes. So training, seven eighths. They designed this for me. Thanks. Lucky number seven, huh? <laughs> Guys, if I'm looking or feeling extra feisty today, it's because I'm vibing right now. This is my my aura, I'm just vibing with it. We got the Adapt Ombre, that is right. They came out with the Ombre last year. <sighs> Took my breath away. I gotta say my favorite out of all the Ombre colors. They're all gorgeous, but that like light gray and pink, it just, and this is coming from somebody who actually doesn't care for pink. Isn't that crazy? But when you see two colors that just work, game over. What I love about their ombre in particular is that it's not this crazy contrast. It's a beautiful natural fade, so it doesn't look like cheap, <laughs> I guess you could say in a way. It looks like, dang girl, is that an ombre going on down your leg? I know if you guys watch my Gymshark videos regularly, you already know how I feel about the Adapt family. Okay, so we introducing it up in here. The compression is wonderful, okay? More compressive than everything you've seen so far. So it really hugs you in a little more. This is now more where I'm going to be training harder in these kinds of leggings because they hold me in, okay? They suck you right in. The band, straight up on these, they don't go nowhere. It's right around my waist, a nice secure band. And the raised contour on the back here, down the middle of your cheeks. They actually help to suck the material in a little bit. For me, I need that little bit of help. And when you have a highly compressive legging, it could kind of make you look like a pancake booty. And that's what normally, that's what happens to me. But because they thought ahead and added that little racing contour, doing your girl some good here. So yeah, number seven, baby. The Adept Ombre. Coming on in at Shekshi number six. None other than the High Rise Whitney legging. Before Whitney came out, I totally would have said training would be like up on the scale more, the training legging. But when Whitney came out, it took precedence as my actual favorite yoga legging of all time. <laughs> yeah, in case you've never experienced the Whitney, and by all means, like I know she had version one, but last year, version two right here, this is my first chance that I ever got to actually try her leggings. Didn't get it the first round. So after trying her freaking leggings out, the booty scrunch, that subtle booty scrunch that looks natural as all heck, it won me over, okay? And I don't think a, a, a yoga-based type of legging like this could ever look better 
truly mean that. I got some curves back there. Curves that a girl could only dream of when she's wearing a pair of yoga leggings. So uh, if I wanna show out and I wanna look as good as I possibly can, the best version of myself back there, then uh, these are what I would wear. They are beautifully designed and the freaking fit is incredible. The material is so lightweight, breathable, beautiful, soft, luxurious, you name it. So this, this particular legging, like it had to make it onto my top 10 or else you know, what the frig, you know? So yeah, again, I will make note that this is not my go-to training legging. Like I'm not gonna go wear this to go lift weights or do hit movements or anything, but for virtually everything else, going for walks, going out and about, lounging home or just doing whatever, this is it, all right? Oh, it's it, girl. Hmm. Hmm. All right, guys, are you ready for this? I might shock a few people by doing this one. <laughs> Uh, it's definitely different from my first round from my last video, but coming in at number five is none other. <gasps> oh, the Vital Seamless. <laughs> so if you guys remember last year, the Vital Seamless ranked in at number two. Now it's at number freaking five, okay? So let me tell you something. They're still part of my top 10. Actually, top five to be exact. So they still made it up there, but um, you'll see that there's other ones I actually prefer a lot more now. The reason why I love these though is because you still have the high compression factor that I really do like, especially when training, jumping movements. I've been doing a hella, a lot of jump squats. I swear by them. Movement wise, it's just, it really just is the best support that I can find. Um, I do love the high waist ribbed band. Everything about it, the movement, like you have a really nice, beautiful, like their signature dotted type of contour. It's textured, it's beautiful, it's energetic. And not to mention, they have a shiz ton of colors to choose from with this, like out of any collection. The Vital Seamless has almost every color. Most of my Gymshark collection's Vital Seamless. But I do have to admit, their band on me gets a little bit gapy in the back. A little bit. Just enough for me to say, hmm, there might be something a little better that's going to get up in the desktop spots. But nevertheless, Vital always will have a place in my heart, okay? You're my signature, baby. and You ain't going nowhere, okay? Okay. Everybody and their grandma tries to make dupes of the Vital Seamless. And from all the dupes I personally tried, Nothing beats the Gymshark Vital Seamless. Sorry. Are you ready for number four, girl? Mm -hmm. I can't believe I whistled. I usually can't do that. Animal. Yes, the animal, baby. <laughs> so, um, where do I begin with you, girl? So you're a freaking breath of fresh air legging. This is their like light teal color that leopardy print that everybody says is a shark print i still don't know what print it is and i don't really care because i love it either way man you could tell me that this is dalmatian i'm cool with that all i do know is that i'm obsessed with not only the print but the fit you know how before i was saying like my booty ain't got nothing back like it don't give me nothing back okay gym sharks leggings helped me and now they are uh, an essential part of my wardrobe because without this, I ain't got no booty, girl. So the scrunch butt on the back is absolute life. It is subtle enough to me where it's not very noticeable. I don't like a dramatic, like in your face scrunch butt because I don't want the world to know how I feel <laughs> about my back. <laughs> you got the high-waisted band, the nice moderate compression. So sometimes I really want like a high impact legging. Other times, a lot of the times, I want more of a moderate. This way it's not so, so compressive and it kind of lets my natural curves show a little bit. For what I need, my basic everyday training, these leggings uh, work for me. They move with me, they're extra freaking stretchy. This one's made out of polyamide, hello. If you're new to the animal, it is part of the Adapt family, like the Adapt Ombre that you just saw. It's also part of the Adapt Camo and adapt moral so this whole family grew last year and um i'm so glad it did are you kidding me like look how freaking good i want to wear this and just lay on a beach and not do nothing this is like i want to blend in with the ocean 
Uh oh, we're in top three mode, are we? Yes, we are. Adapt Marl, yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, when the Adapt Marl came, at first I was like, what do you got that Say the Vital don't got? Like, what are you about? <laughs> it's got a lot, a lot. So this one's that like moss gray color for the love of all things beautiful. Seeing this neutral made my life absolutely 1000% complete. Like I felt like this color was my identity. Does that sound weird? I vibed with this. It's uh, my existence in a nutshell and um, goodness gracious. This is kind of similar to that Vital Seamless where you have like the higher impact, more compressive legging. So something I could utilize a lot. You still have that moral breakup but you don't have any crazy contour. That's the thing. This is more of your subtle, moral, basic moral legging, but you still do have that raised seam contour down the bone eye because thanks, like, yeah. The absolute magic in this legging for me is the simplicity. It is just a one kind of solid moral. You still have the ribbed waistband that I like, but the most important factor for me that makes it really get to number three is the fact that the ribbed waistband is like a perfect compression where it hugs around my waist without digging in or being uncomfortable, but it doesn't gape. It doesn't go anywhere. Zero gaping for me. So when I'm squatting at the gym, I just feel like it's just more flattering overall. It just gives an overall very smooth look down the leg. You have zero distractions on this legging, okay? Some days I want a contour, okay? But there's some days where I'm just like, leave me alone, like I just wanna be me. The Adapt Marl has quickly, quickly become my top favorite because now they're coming out with more and more colors and I'm like, yes please, cause that blue, oh yes, that mellow purple, yeah. If y'all come out with every color under the sun, guess who's getting their hands on every color? And I bet you will too, okay? Because this baby has that luxurious, like still soft and almost like silky feel, but the compression is just all there. If I had to pick like a solid, neutral kind of toned legging that I call perfection as of right now, as of right now, props to you. You are up there, man. You did the dang thing. Number two. Oh yeah, we're getting to the hot and spicy realm now. What's it going be? Who gets the hyper freaking amplify? Who, who, who? Was it you? <laughs> Was it you? <laughs> Y'all probably think I'm a little, little bit crazy because this only came out, <laughs> what, like a month, a month and a half ago, and it made it to number two. But did you think that I'd be lying all this time in my freaking videos and stories when I said this is like my new favorite collection? No, I mean it. This baby, uh, all right, so it changed my life. <laughs> okay, um, it literally made me feel like the freaking internal badass that I got inside here. It brings it out of me when I put it on. I feel like a different woman. I am not me no more. Me, I'm Ashley Gata 2.0 in the hyper freaking app. Now this one is, um, got that like black light action going on. I don't use it for that, but that's cool too. It's the look for me, straight up. It has the exact same, in my personal opinion here, okay, and from my research, it's got the same exact fit as the Adapt Maro. So right off the bat, okay, that was my number three. So you already got that, but dang, if that design doesn't do just something neurologically, like it, there's something clicking up here. Uh, I, I was sold off the bat when I saw it. I was like, whoa, whoa. You have like a lot of like itty bitty like line contour. I got compliments on these leggings at the gym, just so you know. It really is a standout legging. So when I'm feeling extra and I'm just like, you know what? I'm gonna tear it up at that freaking gym. I whip out the hyper amplify, okay? When I feel like I wanna just make a statement and it really does help my confidence. I will get a killer workout in these. The compression is the same as the Adapt Marl. So you got more of that like, moderate higher compression, hugs you, nice glove fit, waisted band that is really nice and secure, doesn't go anywhere, it fits. And then the racing contour down the booty, one of the most important parts, again. Um, so overall, I just, 
I'm sorry, but like, how could a legging be so perfect? For the love of God, Gymshark, if you love me, do you love me? Well, if you do, come out with every color. I want it all. Deep breath for this one, are you ready? <laughs> Rolling in at the number one spot. Girl, you guessed it! Winner, winner, chicken dindins! Ah! The one, the only, camo freaking seamless. As you can see, it still holds the title. Still got the championship belt, I see. You guys know how I feel about the camo. It's nothing new. It was like my first real falling like head over heels in love with a legging from Gymshark. This was it, the camo. I was sold instantly. This is coming from somebody who actually doesn't care for the camo print. And it still made its number one. The main reason it's number one for me over say the animal, even though it's virtually like the same thing but different print, is because there's more color options. But if they create this legging in a bunch of different patterns, they're, they're pretty much all even to me because of the fit. The thing I love about this type of camo design in particular, this newer print they came out with last year, okay? I love the older one, but the newer one is more like sharp. It's a little more highly contrasted. So it kind of gets more of that earthy vibe to it where the other one was a little more traditional camo vibe. I love the new look. And again, like the Adapt family in general is just, it's my collection. Like, I don't even think that it could ever get better than that, but who knows. It got the high waist, the moderate compression. Basically, the reason I love this is this is my everyday legging. Like if I'm gonna grab and go to train, lift the weights, walk on the treadmill, do whatever, these still have the insane stretch. I can still warm up in these comfortably. This is my all around legging and because it gives me insane confidence to wear. So when it hugs my glutes real nice and does the work for me, for me, I feel like, especially on leg day, this, this is my go-to on leg day. When I can see my glutes emphasized in the legging, it not only gives me more confidence to work out, but I can see what I'm working with better on leg day. So when you get a booty pump in these, game over, girl, game over, okay? You're gonna break people's necks up in that gym. I, yeah, this is my number one for now, but I gotta say something. Out of all this ranking, one to three was the hardest. I was moving around, moving around, moving around. Camel still took the spot, okay? They have a lot of colors, but I'm telling you, when Hyper Amplify comes in with all those different colors, hopefully one day, and Animal starts coming in and Adapt tomorrow, who knows what the future brings? So big congrats to you, Camo. Let's see how you place next time, because I'm gonna keep doing this. This is fun. Alrighty, you guys, Whew, that was it. That concludes the Battle of the Gymshark Leggings rematch round two. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely drop a comment down below. I would love to know how you rank them. What are your top 10 favorite Gymshark leggings? How would you rank them and why? Or if you don't feel like listening out a full 10, give me your top three or your number one, okay? Let's chit chat about it. So um, again, I'm gonna say right here, right now, this was very difficult for me to choose my children like this. So by all means, just stay tuned because who knows how it's gonna get rearranged in the future. Just too many options. And who knows? Who knows what Gymshark's gonna come out with in the year 2021? <laughs> Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video.